Galatians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, Thessalonians 1 and 2, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st and 2nd John, 3rd John, Jude and Revelation, the books of the Bible, time tested and reliable, now you know all 66 books of the Bible. Nice job, boys and girls. Um, our next song we uh, introduced just a couple of weeks ago. I think we've done it once or twice, and it's one of my very favorites. to hear everybody because of our masks, but it's keeping us safe, and I can hear you, and you're doing such a great job. Our last song today is Good and Gracious King. It's our new song of the month, and um, because we had our patriotic chapel last week, we didn't get to do it. This is the only the second time you've heard it, but I know you're going to do a great job. <laughs> approach the throne of glory nothing in my hands I bring but the promise of acceptance from a good and gracious king I will give to you my burden you give to me your strength. Come and fill me with your spirit as I sing to you this praise. You deserve the greater glory. Overcome, I lift my voice. To the king in need of nothing, empty-handed I rejoice. 
rejoice. You deserve the greater glory. Overcome with joy I sing. By your love I am accepted. You're a good and gracious King. grace that you would see me as your child and as your friend safe secure in you forever I pour out my praise again you deserve the greater glory overcome Great job this morning. Please take a seat. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How's everyone doing? Good. Well, I am excited to be in chapel with you all this morning. I'm excited about our speaker. We have a guest speaker and her... Um, her husband is pastor at Red Church in Virginia, and I know she's also involved with a lot of ministry out there, and she's also a mom to two of our students. She's a mom to Arwen and Psalm O'Neill, and her name is Miss Erica O'Neill. So before I invite her up, will you guys pray with me? Okay. God, I thank you so much for today. I thank you that you are a good and gracious king, and even though uh, we really come to you with nothing, Lord, um, you are worthy of everything and anything that we can give you. And you can do miracles with very little. Um, you just need our willing hearts. So I pray that you will give us those willing hearts to serve you, that we will understand what it means to be your children and live lives that will honor you. God, I just pray for Mrs. O'Neill as she comes this morning. I just know her words will be a blessing and encouragement to us. And thank you for um, already in advance for the message that she's going to share. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. All right, let's all, you can help me, and then you can come sit back down. All right, I'm going to take my mask off in just a minute. These are my girls, so wave. You guys know, Ar most of you might know Arwen and Psalm. So they just helped me. They're bringing my stuff up today. All right, can you guys set that right there for me? Thank you very much. Good job. All right, can you guys go back and sit, sit in your spot? That's why we weren't social distancing, because they're my girls. Okay, I got to get ready. Can you guys give me just a second to get ready? You guys are so good in here. I mean, you're so quiet and, and uh, well-behaved today. Is that because you're not sitting close to each other? That's probably it. Okay, hang on here. Are you guys still being good? 
Uh oh, where'd I go? There we are. Okay. <coughs> Good morning, boys and girls. My name is uh, Special Agent Erica O'Neill, badge. And uh, I heard that. All right, and I am here today on a special mission. That's right. Um, you know, I'm just going to get straight to the point, okay? Uh, I am here to tell you guys something, and I do not want you to be shocked. I mean, you're probably going to be a little bit shocked, but get ready for it. Are you guys ready for it? Uh, if you're watching um, on the screen, are you guys ready for it? Give me a thumbs up. I can't see you, but okay, good. All right, you guys are ready for it, all right? Here it goes. That's what I came here to tell you guys today. Aliens are real. What? What do you mean aliens are real? I'm serious. Aliens are real. I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain, okay? I know it sounds crazy. Now, I'm not talking about those. Now, most people, you know, they spread these rumors and all kinds of crazy things. I've never seen these kind of aliens, but um, they're not the little green men with the big giant eyes and the big heads and maybe those little antennas. No, no, no. I'm not talking about those kind of aliens, okay? This is a different kind of alien. You guys want to know what they look like? Do you? You guys don't believe me, do you? You don't believe me that aliens are real? Okay, I'm going to show you. Do you guys want to see what an alien looks like? The kind of alien that I'm talking about? Are you ready? I don't know if you guys are ready. You don't look ready. I don't want to scare you. Okay, hold on. Let me get one. I mean, this is what I came here to do, okay? Let's see. There we go. Oh, wait. Nope, that's not it. Ah, here it is. Bam! Did that scare you? You don't, you don't see it? Look. What is that? That's, oh, that's a huge, oh, those are people. Right. But guys, this is the kind of aliens I'm talking about. You still don't believe me, do you? Okay. Well, what is an alien? Now, like I told you, they're not those little green men with the big eyes and the little antennas. These kind of aliens Somebody over there knows the answer. An alien is someone that is from another country, right? Their citizenship is from another place, right? So the kind of aliens that I'm talking about, they call themselves children of God. And I'm going to prove to you that children of God are aliens. Are you ready for this? You're going to believe me by the end. I I'm telling you, you're going to believe me, okay? And they look like this. Wait a second. They kind of look like, they kind of look like you, all right? Now, I have heard that some of you call yourselves children of God. Who here is a child of God? And, and if you're watching... In your classroom, raise your hand if you're a child of God, okay? So what I'm going to tell you guys today, my mission was to come here and answer this question, okay? Now, as a secret special agent, remember I got the badge. Uh, as a secret agent, special agent Erica O'Neill, my mission today is to answer this big question. Are you ready? Why? Would I want to be a child of God? What is a child of God and what do they do? You guys already know some of these answers. I can tell you guys are so good at raising your hand. I love it. Okay, so what is a child of God and what do they do? I mean, do I even want to be a child of God? Do they get to do anything exciting? Do I just get to sit here? And just say that I'm a child of God? 
No, there's a whole lot more to it, isn't there? Okay, so let's see what it is. <clears throat> let's take a look at what a child of God is. Let's look at what the Bible says. Okay, that's kind of like the special handbook that I have to use as a special agent. I have to use the Bible because that's how I know how to do my job. All right? I mean, don't forget, I got the badge. Okay, so let's see. What does the Bible say? That's not it. There it is. It says, some people, now this is in the book of John. You guys know where the book of John is, right? Do you know where the book of John is? If you can find it, you can go ahead and find it. It says, some people did accept him and did believe in his name. Do you guys accept Jesus and believe in his name? If you don't, that's okay. I bet by the end of this, you just might. Well, let's see. Okay. So if you accept him and believe in his name, he gave them the right to become children of God. Now, you may not get like a real badge like this, okay? Uh, but <clears throat> you still get the right to become a child of God. You don't have to have a special badge that says, I am a child of God. Nope. The Bible tells you that if you accept him and believe him, you have the right to become a child of God. Okay, so it has nothing. The Bible says it doesn't have anything to do with human parents. Doesn't that sound funny? It sounds like you're an alien. <laughs> you're an alien with human parents. All right? Children of God are not born because of human choice or because a husband wants them to be born. No, they are born because of what God does. And what did God do for us? You guys know. He died on the cross for us because of all those bad things we do. We just do bad things sometimes, don't we? But Jesus died on the cross for us and forgives us of our sins. And if we believe in him and his name and follow him, we get to be what? Aliens. Nah, that's not the real tile. That's just our secret tile. Children of God. That's right, okay? So because Jesus died on the cross for my sin, say, I am a child of God. Okay, so I'm going to go back, which is a good thing we got this, so I can go backwards because I got these out of order, I guess. Okay, so this is what I want you guys to remember today, okay? So if you can't remember all the things I said, I want you to remember this today, okay? Because God made me for a very special reason, <clears throat> God made you for a very special reason, I have a reason to follow him. So can you guys say that with me? Because I really want you to get that in your brain, okay? Are you ready? Because God made me. I have a reason to follow him. Okay, so God made each, you guys, God didn't put you on this earth just because he just wanted to go plop, plop, plop. No, he made each one of you for a very special reason, okay? And so we're going to look at a few of those things, all right? So now, I, remember, I told you I'm on here, I'm here for a very special mission, okay? And uh, um. I'm going to show you a few things in my bag to help you remember, okay? But first, I want you to see this. Okay, these are three reasons, all right, of, of, to be a child of God. Three things to remember, all right? Number one, God created me. Everybody say, God created me. God created me. That's right. You guys are made in the image of God. We're supposed to look like Jesus, and what did Jesus do? He loved everybody. He helped people, right? What are some other things that Jesus did? Can you shout out a couple things? That's what, right. Yeah, so he gave himself, right? So that means if we're going to look like Jesus, we have to love other people, doesn't it? So God created you for a very special reason. And here is what the Bible says. This is what the handbook says. I'm not making this stuff up, okay? It says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made so we can praise God. Now, that doesn't mean God was scared when he made you. 
Do you think God is scared? No, God is scared. It just means God is so amazing and so wonderful that he created a wonderful being like you. And that means fearfully and wonderfully made means you are super special. Like super special. Have you ever, do you guys have something in your room that is super special that like you don't really like people to touch because you're like, you don't want them to break it or you don't want your little brother or little sister to touch it? Because like, no, this is special, guys. I don't, please don't touch it. Do you guys have something like that in your room? Yeah. yeah. Guess what? That's how God sees you. Oh, you are super, super special to him. He made you for a certain reason. He has a special job for you to do that you can do right now, not just when you're older. Did you know that? You can be on a super special mission right now. Okay, you guys ready for number two? Number two, this planet is not my home. Can you guys say that? This planet is not my home. What are you talking about, Special Agent Erica? I have a house in Chesapeake or Virginia Beach or wherever you live. I've got a bedroom with my name on it. I have a bed. I even have a bike. This planet, I, I thought it was my home, but did you know what? As an alien, as a child of God, this planet is not your real home. What do you guys think about that? What? What? Well, listen, I'm going to tell you why this planet is not your home. Because if you're a child of God, you got it. Heaven is your true home. You knew it. You knew the answer already. Heaven is your real home. Isn't that exciting? Do you have you guys, have any of you ever been to heaven? No. Neither have I. And guess what? I am so, 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 so excited to get, there, to get there. I'm super excited, okay? And the Bible gives us, the Bible gives us just a little taste, just a few words about what heaven might be like. Oh, I'm so excited. We'll talk more about that in a minute, okay? So this plan is not our home. Oh, get, you know, I, I was thinking the other day about my house, and I'm like, man, this house is such a mess. i got to clean up here, right? But guess what? In heaven, we're going to have huge mansions. How many of you have ever lived in a mansion or been to a mansion? A huge, huge, huge house. Have you ever driven on a street of gold? If you have, please tell me where you've been that you've been on a street of gold. No, but that's what we're going to see in heaven. And guess what? We can talk to Jesus all day long if we want to. Isn't that so cool? I mean, there's so we can ask him any question. I bet right now you have a question you've been wanting to ask Jesus. That's what we're going to get to do in heaven. All right? Oh, and guess what else? We don't have to wear masks. Yes. Right? We can sit next to our best friend. Hallelujah. That's right. Woohoo. So just remember that you guys, this planet is not your home. You are only here for a little bit of time. 80, 100 years or so, you know, give or take a few. But do you know what? That may sound like a lot of years, but it's only a little bit compared to forever and ever and ever, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. And then uh, I want to tell you another verse out of my handbook. It's in Philippians. Do you guys know where Philippians is? This is proof that you guys are aliens and you don't belong here forever. You don't belong here forever. You belong here right now because Jesus put you here. All right. The book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 20 says, but our citizenship is in heaven. Now, while you're here on earth, your citizenship is probably the United States of America, right? Okay. But our true alien child of God citizenship is in heaven, all right? And we eagerly await a Savior from there. And who's our Savior? 
the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. And number three, I am here on a special mission. Everybody say that with me, even you guys on the screen. I am here on a special mission. Reporting for duty, sir. All right. Well, I don't do that. that that's more like, okay. Uh, anyways, don't forget, got the special badge. All right. Yes, so you are here on a special mission, and guess what your mission is? It's the same as mine. We all have the same mission. It might look a little different from the person sitting next to you, but we're all on a special mission, and our special mission is to recruit. Do you guys know what the word recruit means? That means to gather people, to get people to get on your special mission as well. You want people to come with you, to get on your side. And what is our side? Our side is getting people to come with us and believe in Jesus Christ, right? Because Jesus created everybody, and he loves everybody. But do you know what's super, super sad? Is that some people might not know about Jesus. They don't know that God made them special. And guess what? That's what our special mission is while we're here for 80 to 100 years, you know, give or take a few. Our special mission is to recruit as many people as we can to come with us to go to our home world, right? We got to tell people. You know what you could do is you could, somebody that you know that doesn't know Jesus, you could say, hey, guess what? I'm an alien. And they'll be like, just like you guys did to me. You guys laughed at me. You're like, what are you talking about? No, they're not. But you say, no, 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 it's really true. I'm a child of God. And so this world is not my home. And so you can tell people. And the way we do that is by loving people. We love God and we love people. Can you guys say that with me? Love God and love people. All right? And the Bible tells us, here's another Bible verse. I mean, the Bible has stuff to say about, like, everything in our life. All right? It's Matthew 22, verses 37 to 39. And here's what it says. I know you guys have heard this before. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul and mind and and to love others as you love yourself. That's our mission. God made us to love him and to love people. Isn't that cool? All right, so guys, I want you to remember again, the big idea for today was because God made me for a very special reason. Everybody say that. Because God made me for a very special reason. I have a reason to follow him, right? You're an, a real alien serving a real God, and your mission is to love God and love people. This answers our big question. This is what a child of God does, okay? You were created by God for a very special reason. You're on a very special mission to love God and to love people. That's how people get to find out about God is by how much you love him and love other people, all right? So three things. I've got some action steps for you today, guys. I want you to remember this. Sometimes we hear about what the Bible tells us, right? Do you guys sometimes read the Bible? Do you guys hear about Bible at church or in your class? Yeah, I bet some of you do. But do you do what the Bible says? Mm, sometimes we don't, do we? We hear it and we're like, yeah, that's good, cool. But then we don't always do it. So I want you guys to remember these three things, okay, before we go. Number one, read the handbook. This is a Bible. You have to read it. This is, tells you all the important stuff that you need to know. I mean, it is chock full of everything you need to know, right? Okay, so that's number one. Number two, check in daily. Check in daily. All right, got my phone here. 
boom, 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 calling heaven. Hello, God? No, that's not how we do it, is it? That would be pretty cool if we could call God on our phone. But no, that's not how we do it. We talk to God, right? We read the Bible. We pray. And pray is just talking to God just like you talk to your friends, just like you talk to your teachers. We pray and we talk to God, okay? So you've got to check in daily. You have to do it daily. It's just like you won't know what to do if you don't check in daily. And number three, recruit, all right? You've got... You gotta get people, people, people to come with you, to come with you, to come with you. Okay? So your job, your mission is to get as many people as you can. Numbers really matter. You gotta get that tally. Okay? Check off. Get as many people as you can to come with you. And it looks different for everybody. God made you for a very special reason. Okay? And so you have a reason to follow him. So remember those three things today, okay? And thank you guys so much for having Special Agent Erica. I hope I get to come back and hang with you guys again. And thank you so much, you guys. All right? Have a good day, okay? Can you guys say thank you to Agent Erica? And I, signing off, she said, I love the reminders that she gave us. And guys, you know what I love to, like, okay, I like my life. Like, I've got a good life. I love the family that I grew up in. I love the family that God's given me now that I'm married to my husband and I have my kids and we've got our dogs. Like, life is pretty good. But sometimes life is hard, too. There are things that I don't love. I don't love that we have to wear masks all the time. I don't love that some of our classes have to watch chapel from their classrooms this year. I don't love that I can't see my mom on Thanksgiving because we live in different states and just with the traveling with all the things, it's just too much. So there are lots of things that are hard. And you know what her chapel reminded me of is the hard things in life. That's not what God wants for us. God wants perfection and we're going to have it one day when we get to heaven and so that's where like we love things about our life but we what we don't know because we've not been to heaven what's coming what God has for us is so much better and so that's why sometimes it feels weird to say we're an alien but we should be like oh thank you Lord that we're aliens that we weren't meant for this earth Um, and he wants us to be able to live as his child forever in heaven for eternity so I am thankful for the time that I have here on this earth I'm thankful for the good things he's given me but I am thankful that those hard things are not forever so what a good reminder that is as we wrap up let's pray real quick God I thank you so much that you have given us a way to become your children God, I thank you for your great love for us. And you have given us ways on this earth as we are aliens here. And this is not our forever home. God, I thank you that you have given us ways to stay connected with you, to stay in touch with you. Thank you for the many, many ways that you've shown us your great love for us. And the most important of those being Jesus dying on the cross. And so, God, I pray that we will be encouraged by that in those days that there are things that we don't love about this earth that we'll remember this is not forever. And this is not how it's going to end. It's going to be so much better. But also help us remember the importance of recruiting others, helping them know when they're having a hard day, hey, this is not what, this is, this is not how it has to be. When we have God, we've got that promise of a future, and it doesn't have to end this way. So thank you for that. God, I just pray for these students. I pray for the teachers that you give them a great day. We love you so much. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. All right, guys, I thank you so much. I want you to watch your teachers to be quietly dismissed. Thank you guys so much for being here today.